proposing a bill to ban businesses from using plastic bags and plastic straws because of the harm they do to our environment. Jillian is live in downtown Fort Myers right now. So Jillian, tell us, how would they impact small businesses here in Southwest Florida? Well, Chris, right now, scientists say that those plastic bags are harming the environment. But here in downtown Fort Myers, those bags are helping move food orders at these restaurants you see here, like Cabo's, Capone's, Ford's Garage. All these restaurants here use those plastic bags for their carryout orders. But it's not just restaurants that would be impacted by this new law. Take a look at this. This would apply to also grocery stores, coffee shops, convenience stores, drug and liquor stores, even movie theaters. The new bill aims to ban plastic bags and straws at those places. Instead, they would get bags and straws made from natural or certain synthetic materials. Proposals like this have been popping up around the country because plastic bags and straws are blamed for causing significant damage to sea life. But some employees over on the East Coast say that will be more expensive. They also said paper bags could not make the cut to run their businesses. All the food and the liquid and the heat and the condensation break through the bag easier. Now she says there needs to be a better and cost effective way to bag without hurting businesses. If businesses and stores violate the proposed bill, they would get a $500 fine for the first time offense and $1,000 after that. Now, if it does pass, it would take effect on July 1st. Coming up in our next half hour, find out the environmental benefits from this new law. Reporting live in downtown Fort Myers, I'm Jillian Hartman, Fox 4 in your corner. Jillian, thank you.